Due to over-intensive farming methods, the United Nations has warned that if current rates of degradation continue, all of the world's topsoil could be lost within 60 years. And since in some areas of the world it might take up to a thousand years to create just one centimeter of soil, once it's gone, we are in serious trouble. That's why intensive tilling can be so risky when done wrong. There's only so much disruption you can do to the soil before you start to see permanent damage. Soil starts to wash away quicker, or it becomes so compacted that plants find it harder to grow. Soil life reduces and what's left can't hold or process as many as vital nutrients like nitrogen as it did before. So what's the solution? Is there a solution? Some people think the damage caused by intensive tilling could be offset by the use of organic fertilizers. This is thought to be kinder to soil life and soil structure. The difficulty is that by doing this, many farmers still rely on some intensive tilling because you have to dig up weeds which aren't killed off by synthetic herbicides. So is it a solution? To help answer that question, our team of researchers at ETH Zurich undertook a study over a number of years. On our experimental field, we set up four different treatments reflecting different farming practices. Taking our plots, we till too intensively and to at a reduced rate or not at all. As a comparison, we use organic fertilizers on two and non-organic on the others. This way, we would be able to tell whether it was a general farming system or the tilling practice that made the difference. And more importantly, what might best help improve the soils. Next, over four years, we rotated the same crops through each plot. Winter wheat, beans, maize, and then a second year of winter wheat. After four years, we took the soil back to the lab. So what did we find? The headline is that organic fertilizers and reduced tilling help keep the soil alive. Its particles are better connected, less likely to erode away. Soils under our organic treatments had built up over twice the carbon as those in the non-organic treatments. But for the best results, they have to be done together. But is it possible to go even further? Next, we spent two years growing mixes of grass and clover. The clover actually binds more nitrogen back into the soil, reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers even more. After two years, we took the new set of results back to the lab, and it's even better news. Even in the intensively tilled soils, the soil life and structure was now almost as healthy as it would have been without the tilling. Finding the right combination of techniques for different places can maintain soil health and even restore some types of damage. And, if replicated broadly, could help put us one step closer to preventing the loss of soil quality.